Hello and welcome to the quick demonstration video of the Kotraco Ultrasonics Permaflow. The Permaflow is our fixed ultrasonic wall mounted flow meter. In this video, I will be going through the features and benefits of our Permaflow. The Permaflow is capable of measuring flow rates of clean liquids non invasively using ultrasonic methods and ultrasonic sensors. As you can see, the sensors installed here are completely non-invasive and are mounted using either chain clamps or jubilee clips and they sit on top of the pipe. Our Permaflow has a modular system which means that you can install input and output boards as required. The board on the left hand side here is our flow sensor board connecting the flow measurement. The next boards are the PT100 thermometer boards such as these. The PT100 thermometer boards allows you to connect a PT100 thermometer for non-invasive flow um, temperature measurement alongside flow. The next popular board that we have is the mode bus boards, which allows communication of the flow meter through mode bus or RS485. And finally, another popular board that comes with the flow meter is the 4 to 20 milliamp output boards as well, allowing communication from the permaflow uh, via 4 to 20 milliamps. The benefit of uh, modular flow meter is that you are able to customize your input and output modules to suit your requirements thereby reducing costs of the flow meter for communication modules which you do not need. The permaflow comes with USB as standard should you require it. To begin measurement you, there is a simple function called the quick start where you just follow the menu options uh, to guide you through the measurement process. First of all, you start with the pipe material and there is a list of already pre-loaded pipe materials. If your pipe material is not there, there is an option to select custom materials. In this video, I'm using a PVC pipe for the demonstration and it is, has an outer diameter of 40 millimeters and a pipe wall thickness of two millimeters. Select your liner material as well as your fluid type. These two can be selected from a list of preloaded materials. If your material is not there, you can choose other and enter your own custom material. You can enter your fluid temperature. However, if you already have a PT100 thermometer module installed, you can select so that the measurement from the PT100 thermometer overrides this screen. Next, confirm your transducer type and choose from a list of transducer mounting positions. We have a number of different positions to cater for all your application requirements. Confirm your transducer type and notice the spacing required to install your sensors. Now the spacing that's required basically refers to the two front ends of your sensor. Please measure the required spacing between the, the front end of the two sensors and install them securely with a layer of ultrasound grease supplied with the equipment. Once the sensors are installed correctly, you will see that the SNR should be at least 26 decibels or above, the higher the better, and your ATA ETA should be as close as possible to 100%. There is a leeway of about 3% that's allowable. Next, check that your waveform or your graph looks like this image here. Uh, this means that you have a good and accurate installation. This allows your final measurement to be accurate. Once you're confident that your installation is correct, you may proceed to the next screen. In your next screen, it will show you the flow measurement. So we have the flow velocity measurement in meters per second and you have the flow rate measurement in liters per hour as well as the totalized flow through your pipe over a period of time. You can choose to change these measurement units uh, into any units that you feel su suitable for your application. There is also the option to view the energy consumption um, of your building or vessel according to the flow and temperature change that has passed through your pipe. You can also view your temperature um, as it's being recorded by the PT100 module here. Once you've done your measurement or during your measurement, you could also choose to export your results via RS232 or USB. You can also choose to download the data into the flow meter and then export it separately. Now I have a separate video showing you how to export the data from the permaflow to your computer and the link to this video will be in the description below. Uh, and thank you very much for your patience in watching this video. Uh, I hope I have covered the features uh, of the permaflow successfully. If you have any questions, concerns or queries about the product, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us at Coltrack Ultrasonics. Thank you very much.